Hello and welcome to Expert Tech. In today's video we will discuss how to set up vertical monitor. Adding an extra display to your computer can be a great way for you to increase productivity and efficiency while working on the go. Whether it's at home or office, adding another monitor will make sure that there are no distractions from what needs attention most. Integrated graphics on the motherboard and processor are capable of supporting up to three displays at once. The efficiency increases even more if you decide a vertical secondary display is right for your system, too. How do I set up a vertical monitor? Setting up an extra display comes in two steps, connecting the hardware to your computer and configuring it for use. Let's work through both of these, starting with ports connections. Connecting a vertical monitor display should be done in a similar fashion as other displays by using either VGA or DVI connections. If you are using an older monitor, make sure the cords are capable of supporting your desired resolution before making this purchase. It's also worth mentioning that if you do happen to have a display port on your computer, you can use this instead as well. When connecting multiple displays to one video card, try to limit how much space the cables have. If they are too stretched out, your monitor will not display an image or it may do so flicker intermittently. Now that you've connected the cables to the correct ports on each device, let's configure them for use. This process varies depending upon both the operating system and type of hardware you are using. Consult your manual to make sure you have the latest drivers installed. Step 1. Make sure your monitor is portrait mode compatible. For more information on that, click here. Step 2. Once you have the correct drivers, turn your monitor to its native resolution and refresh rate. These are both typically located in the information section of the monitor's menu settings. Again, consult your manual for more up-to-date details about configuring your monitor. Step 3. You only need to connect one cable to the DVI port for your primary display. The other VGA or DVI ports on your video card can be used for your extra vertical monitor. If your monitor supports 144Hc refresh rates, then make sure to choose the right connection cable for it. Otherwise, you won't be able to achieve 144Hc refresh rates. Do not connect both to the same port otherwise, you will have a black screen. Step 4. When all of this is done, you should now see two screens. If you have multiple monitors connected, it's possible you may see your primary monitor show up on the external display. To fix this, right-click on your desktop and select Arrange Displays from the menu that appears. From here, you can click where it says two displays or just simply drag and drop it next to your primary monitor. From here, you should be able to toggle back and forth between both screens with a simple button or hotkey on your keyboard. You can also adjust the placement of each display by clicking and dragging it while holding down the control key. I hope this guide will help you set up your vertical monitor. Pros for vertical monitor 1. Helps reduce neck strain by reducing the amount you have to tilt your head. 2. Business professionals may appreciate having an extra space for presentations or documents they are working on. Cons for vertical monitor. 1. Some users do not like the idea of their screens being stacked vertically instead of horizontally. 2. You may need to buy new hardware if you are using an older monitor. Conclusion Vertical secondary displays allow users to multitask without having a lot of clutter around them. For businesses, this can mean spending less time training new employees and more time creating an efficient working environment for everyone. In addition, when it comes to comfort, vertical monitors have been shown in several studies to help reduce neck strain from sitting in one position for long periods of time. A vertical display can be a great way for productivity, but only if you use it correctly. We hope this guide helps you understand how to set up your vertical monitor.